Hey, what's going on guys? Booster Whips here. Just wanted to do a quick video on how to install the overlays for the uh, headlights on the side reflector. And this is from Crooks Motorsports. As you guys know, I'm doing a giveaway. But uh, this is how it comes packaged. Really nice. And uh, for this installation, what you're going to need is alcohol pads or alcohol, whatever you can to kind of, you know, clean the, the lens. Make sure it's nice and clean, you know, free of debris or whatnot. Uh, you're going to need a microfiber towel or a waffle weave towel or anything that, you know, basically you can dry after you have cleaned it with the alcohol. You're going to need a, a heat gun or a hair blow dryer. Um, so with that said, I'm going to go ahead and get started. All right, so what you want to do here is go ahead and use the alcohol wipes or whatnot to go ahead and clean the area nicely. Um, I had already washed the car so it looks nice but just to make sure you don't have any debris you're gonna go ahead and clean you know the area that you're gonna be working in and in this case is the reflector so you just want to go ahead and clean that and then once you're done with that what you want to do is go ahead and dry it with the towel uh, whether it be microfiber towel or a waffle weave towel so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now so we're gonna go ahead and dry the area and clean it nicely now that the area is nice and clean we can go ahead and start with the installation process all right so to get started you want to make sure you pick the right uh, you know side or whatnot for each reflector in this case this one here is the one that's gonna fit on this area so what you want to do is just kind of Put this on here so that way you know more or less which one's the right one and which one's the left one. So I'm going to go ahead and peel this off. So what you want to do is peel this off and uh, basically place it, you know, towards the area here. So that way it covers this whole lens right here. And then you want to leave a little bit of slack here because in this part is where you're going to go ahead and tuck in. And this is where the heat gun comes into play just to make uh, installation easier basically you leave the little overhang here and then you start heating up and you tuck everything else in the inside of the lens so I'm gonna go ahead and peel that off I'm gonna go ahead and position the um, overlays over this so you guys can see how it should look and then we'll go ahead and finalize the installation alright so here I've already positioned it as you've noticed I haven't um, finished in this corner here but basically, so you guys can see what I did, I'm going to peel this off. And what's great about this film is that this is uh, air release bubble free technology. So if you mess up, you can take off, put on, and there's not going to be an issue. So um, what you want to do is you start here from this corner here, and you want to cover. Your guide is going to be that chrome area on the top area. Um, you can get it, you know, a little bit just as close, but you want to leave just a little bit of hang, basically right where the edge is, because we're going to tuck this in so that everything looks nice and then um, what you want to do is you want to work you know in the area once you have it all you're gonna do is push with your with your finger like this it's kinda like if you're putting a screen protector on a phone and um, you know and kinda release all the air bubbles all the way until you get towards the end and then once that's positioned there we're gonna go ahead and heat up the area and tuck this in so I'm gonna go ahead and finish that part and uh, we'll take it from there Alright, so what you want to do is go ahead and heat up the corner area. I'm using a hair blow dryer. Just want to set it to the low setting. And you're just going to heat up this area right here. And you're going to start tucking in either using a credit card or a squeegee or whatnot. And that's basically it. You know? So I'm going to heat up the process here. Turn this off. And then start tucking. I need to heat up just a little bit more but that's basically the idea I'm gonna go ahead and finish this process I'm gonna go ahead and heat up and continue to tuck so that it sticks in from the inside area and then I'll show you how it looks um, once it's done and then we'll get started on the other side basically doing the same process alright guys there you have it everything is nice and tucked 
So what you want to do is heat up the area and then start tucking everything in so that it looks nicely. What you can also do is heat up you know, also the whole film just so that it's nice, you know, and uh, basically, you know, start moving your hand towards it so that everything looks nice. So you can see, you can still see the reflector. If that light were to hit to it, you can still, you know, kind of see it. So one key point, guys. So your guide could be this line here. You're going to see a line on the lens. Now try to get it close and see if you guys can see this line. But basically, this line that goes right here, it's right where this meets. And that's going to be your guide. That's how you know if you got it, you know, positioned correctly. And basically, you know, that's how it looks. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. And then uh, I'm going to show you the whole, you know, complete process on both sides. So, um, not process, the final look on both sides. Um, since I already did this one, you guys already have the idea. I'm going to go ahead and do it on the other side. And uh, we'll take it from there. Alright guys, there you have it. So, here's the left hand side. I have the lights on so that way it looks just much better so you guys can see how it's going to look. Um, that is the left side. I'm going to go ahead and go to the other side now. The right side. And it just gives it a more aggressive look. On this theme that I have going, just makes it look much better. Um, and basically that's how it looks so guys if you have any questions comments go ahead and drop them below let me know what you guys think and uh, guys the uh, these reflectors come in a 50% uh, light gray and also uh, this one here is 20% so it's a little darker kind of black out but you can still see if light hits it um, you can still see the reflector but basically this is more of a dark darker look so anyways guys go ahead and give me your comments like share and subscribe don't forget to go to crooks motorsports and subscribe to their channel as they have uh, products as they're coming out they're growing their channel so please go ahead and support them as well um, and until next time guys have a very blessed day boosted whips i'm out